Hi, welcome back. As you can see, it's raining cats and dogs here, which is a bit of an occupational hazard living here in the British Isles. This afternoon, I thought I'd do something a little different, and I thought I'd do a book review. So here I've got three books. These books are written by the same author, Dr. Stuart Clarke, who's a well-known astrophysicist and journalist and works at the European Space Agency. The first book in this trilogy is The Sky's Dark Labyrinth. This is set at the start of the 17th century and it circles around the lives of Galileo Galilei, Tycho Bray and Johannes Kepler. What I really like is the story of how Johannes Kepler took Tycho Bray's measurements and use them to calculate his laws of planetary motion. I thought that was really well described. Meanwhile, over in Italy, Galileo Galilei takes a telescope, points it up at the heavens, and finds things out quite as perfect as the Catholic Church had led everyone to believe. The book talks about the conflict between science and religion as Europe heads out of the Dark Ages, and we get the scientific thought starting to emerge, which starts to threaten established beliefs and everyone's threatened by the Inquisition. I thoroughly recommend it. Uh, Galileo is one of my favourite characters from history, having learned about him at school. The second book in the trilogy is A Sensorium of God. This is set at the end of the late 17th century and it talks about Sir Isaac Newton and his relationship with Robert Hooke. Newton's taken some of Hooke's ideas without giving him credit. Edmund Halley seeks out Newton's help to understand the laws of planetary motion. I particularly like the description of Sir Isaac Newton, who was very devout in his religious beliefs, but he was also an alchemist in his quest to turn ordinary elements into gold. Sir Isaac Newton was conflicted between his science and his religious views, and it talks very much about the man and his character and how that developed throughout the book. I won't spoil by giving too much away, but another really good read. The last book in the trilogy is The Day Without Yesterday, which takes place in 1914 in Berlin and circles around Albert Einstein and his relationship with his fellow scientists. Europe's on the brink of war. Being Albert Einstein, it's horrified by the way science is being used for the purpose of war and the resulting casualties and suffering that it's going to cause. He does try and stick up and make his moral point, but being from a Jewish background, it makes it very hard for him. Many of his fellow scientists disagree with the use of science in this way, but they don't have the moral strength to stand up to the rest of the scientists. Just talk about the morality of science. I really like the way it talks about the early history of quantum physics, and I particularly like the exploration of the young Belgian astrophysicist, mathematician and priest, Georges Lemaitre, who was in the trenches in Belgium and France. I really like the build-up of the character of Lemaitre. He must have been a very likeable character, very devout in his beliefs, but that didn't stop him pursuing science. He nearly didn't survive the horrendous conditions in the trenches during the First World War, but went on to greatness. As we know, he became renowned later for his thinking and his theories in mathematics and physics. So I recommend all three books. Very good to be able to read on a wet day. And hopefully next time I see you, it will have cleared up and I can talk about some of the practical astronomy that I've been doing. If you've enjoyed this review, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Wishing you all clear skies.